So another interesting case I saw yesterday was a 12 year old who'd come in basically with uh, a few day history of coronal symptoms, so cough, runny nose, temperatures. Uh, his mother had come with him. He's otherwise well. There was nothing significant of note in the history or the examination. And it was a simple viral upper respiratory tract infection. However, the interesting thing about this case was that the mother wanted some antibiotics. So of course, uh, this is a tricky consultation sometimes. Parents come in, they want antibiotics. They think it will help in certain scenarios. And often the evidence base is usually um, the illness is self-limiting. So upper respiratory tract infections can go on for up to about three weeks. And of course, it's upsetting for parents. The child has a cough, they have temperatures, they're unwell, and the parent will like a quick fix. But the evidence base simply isn't there or it's not strong enough for antibiotics to be prescribed in a viral upper respiratory tract infection. So in this case, we, I had to explain that to the mother that in, you know the chest is nice and clear, there is an infection um, in the throat area, the throat's a little bit red, and whilst the, uh, her son would be having a cough and temperatures, it will get better within a week. And it's important to empower the parents with this information that actually using antibiotics when they're not needed can cause sometimes side effects, for example, diarrhea and upset tummy. And once the parents understand that, they're usually more empathetic and understanding of your side of um, what, why you, you, you probably shouldn't be prescribing antibiotics. And you can, of course, offer alternatives in the meantime, for example, paracetamol or ibuprofen or diflam, which is a topical non-steroidal. So this is a quick video just to talk about how you would manage somebody asking for antibiotics when it's not required. Just explain the reason why you wouldn't prescribe the antibiotics, make sure they're empowered with knowledge, and that's a good way of going about um, making sure that the patient understands where you're at, but also you understand the patient where they're at and why they may need anti, may, why they may want antibiotics in the first place.